Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. This is the reason for the title of the video. We got about six inches of snow last night. It's Saturday morning about nine o'clock. And yesterday it was sunny and 70 degrees. I was out riding around the convertible all day yesterday. It was even warm up until last night. Sometime, you know, after dark it was still warm. And the temperature plummeted and this happened overnight. And I am ready for spring. But it's just hard to believe that yesterday it was sunny and 70 degrees. I was out in the convertible. And where I'm standing, um, it's the patio, it's covered in bird seed because I, I knew it was coming and I feed the birds and I put a lot on the, a lot of seed on the ground because the deer come and eat and the squirrel and chipmunks and the larger birds that can't get on the feeder feed so they're going crazy so I'm going to go back inside so they can eat and the cat has something to watch so I'm going to head on into the studio start making some soap but this is the reason for the name of the video see you in a minute in the studio Hi everybody, we're back. So after that snow you saw outside, you can probably see why I'm ready for spring. Saturday a week ago, it was sunny and 80. I mean, yesterday it was sunny and 70. Most of this week it's been, you know, at least upper 50s, lower 60s. And then this came in, it's supposed to be really cold tonight. So anyway, I am ready for spring. That being said, that's why I decided to make this soap and call it this. So I'm gonna have a white base and I'm going to do an in-the-pot swirl because I need to pour pretty quickly. So I'm going to use lima peel. I'm going to use iris purple. And I'm going to use a combination of lemon chiffon yellow and yellow vibrance, all by Nurture Soap. I'm going to fragrance this with a wonderful, bright, delightful scent. Uh, ginger and lime, which is also by nature, <laughs> also by nurture soap. Let's go ahead and get started. Sometimes this fragrance rices a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm planning on it rising. Hopefully, it's just a little bit. It usually is, and it stick blends out. But I'm doing it in an in the pot swirl just in case. Plus, I kind of need to get going because I got a lot of stuff going on this evening. So, let's make some soap. So I will start, I'm soaping about 87 degrees Fahrenheit. I will start by carefully pouring the lye water into the oils. I'm going to rinse my lye container like always and turn it upside down in the sink to drain. blender so we don't whip any air into it and bring it to a light emulsification. That's way more than I normally stick blend. It's separating in the pot already. So strange. But I'm afraid, because I'm a little tiny bit warmer, and I'm afraid that I'll get into trouble if I stick blend anymore. So let's just get this into our three accent colors. Still separating. So I give up. Okay. Those will be our three. Let's go ahead and get our white mixed up first because I like to stick blend and mix everything lightest to darkest. I'm going to scrape this down. Get some of that separating batter back down into the pot. And my TD is pre-mixed in oil. Accent color. 
So this lima peel, like a lot of greens, turns a really funky color when it first hits the lime, but it always turns back to a beautiful green. Green Vibrance is another one, but this one does even to a more extreme degree than Green Vibrance. So let's get this stirred in by hand. And then let's work on our yellow. This lemon chiffon is just a little bit faint. That's why I'm adding some uh, some of the yellow vibrance. This is another morphing. This uh, lemon chiffon is also another morphing. It turns really a vibrant burnt orange, but I'm thinking it might not be as severe since I'm mixing it with the yellow vibrance. So here's some yellow vibrance, which will give it a little more boldness. Yeah, I can see that green turning and I can see the yellow turning the burnt orange. But by tomorrow when we cut it, it'll look like it's supposed to. Probably will, especially since I'm a little bit warmer. And it is. But it's usually mild and it usually stick blends right out. It'll almost stir out. Yeah, it's actually stirring out, but I'm still going to stick with it just a little bit. See what the green does? Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. And see what the yellow does? But by tomorrow, it'll be the colors they're supposed to be. So let me hit it quickly with the stick blender, especially the white with the TD in it. It's holding up well. Oh, shoot, got some air in. Oh, well. right consistency what I like in the pot swirl so just drop all of that into one place 
all of that into another. All of that into the third. Around the edge, down the center, and stop. To the mold it goes. fluid it still is. So despite some minor icing, this fragrance is really very, very workable. So here's what's going to be our yellow. It's a really pretty orange right now. Here is what will be a pretty green tomorrow. Not quite so pretty right now. And I will squirt this with some rubbing alcohol so we don't get soda ash on that pretty top. Let it sit about five minutes, spray it again, put it to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow for the cut. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, we're back to cut our soap, and our morphing micas have morphed back to what they're supposed to be. We'll just cut right into it. And it's like 10 degrees outside, so yeah, I'm really, really ready for spring. So here we go. Let's see what we have. Not quite as vibrant as I was hoping, but oh well, it's okay.
And then this one, I'm gonna cut on the face this way instead of this way. I've gone ahead and scored this. And I am not the most accurate at cutting a straight line with a knife, but I'll do the best I can. So like this is the way up, not mess it up now, let's not mess it up. This is the way I've been cutting it, this is the way I'm going to cut it. Now that actually gets some more pattern in it. Yeah, I like that cut better. So this is the way I've been. This is the face. I've been cutting it that way. I want to cut it that way. Looks like some wood grain there. We're getting some wood grain patterns this log. Oh, that's really nice. The only drawback to cutting this way is I do get one fewer bar, one less bar. If I cut it both logs that way, I'd get two fewer bars because these end pieces are just a little bit thicker. But I like that cut better on this particular soap. Like here's one, cutting it on the face. Here's one with the traditional cut. So yeah, I like cutting it on the face better on that particular one. But anyway, not bad, not bad at all. And of course I love that fragrance, it smells fantastic. So that's what I have this week. So thanks for watching, stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Bye everybody.